Hello everyone, this is Red Robot, and today our video starts with just a little bit of backstory. So, I was trying to get a recording done on the new Widowmaker, uh, that is 10% more damage to enemies your sentry is targeting. Pretty weird stat, not sure if it's going to actually ever matter, uh, but that's not what this video is about today, alright? So, I'm just here playing some engineer, I've uh, got my mini sentry going, shooting people, things kinda aren't going so hot. Uh, not only am I being completely overwhelmed by soldiers, demos, and a medic, but they had a ton of Dead Ringer spies, and Dead Ringer and disguises in general are super, super good against the Widowmaker, so I decided to go and switch on over to Pyro and see if I could uh, help my team out since the whole Widowmaker thing wasn't working. Unfortunately, Pyro just wasn't enough. Even with a weapon like the Homewrecker to support our engineers, we were still getting completely overwhelmed. These Dead Ringer Spires could easily escape from my flames, uh, the new speed buff in the update really helps them out with that, and I was still getting constantly spammed out by these soldiers and these uh, demos, and it really just wasn't all coming together. I had a bit of time to reflect as all the points were being captured, and that cart was creeping closer and closer to the final point to think about what my team needed in this situation. I needed a class fast enough to go and kill the medic and escape with his life, a class tanky enough to absorb explosive damage, and a class that could deal with those pesky dead ringer spies, in fact, he could even benefit from them. And here is the result, it's Demo Knight. Now I don't bust out Demo Knight nearly as much as I should, he's an incredibly fun class in pubs, and as you can see here, I'm just eating up those spies. Uh, the dead ringer feeds you a full head, even if it's just a fake spy you killed, so they can end up really putting their team at a disadvantage if they're not careful. And while uh, this, this little stint on Demo Knight didn't start perfectly, it certainly gets much, much better. The reason why Demonite worked so well within this team and this game is just because it was the perfect situation for him. Demonite is weakest in the beginning, when you just walk out of spawn, you have no heads, you're slow, you don't have much health, and your shield bash does less damage. Not many people know this, check out this video on the Demonite changes from ages ago to learn more. And that makes you vulnerable. Getting those first few heads is the hardest part about playing Demonite. But, as I said before, those spies were more than happy to feed me as many as I needed. The next reason why we came on top, despite having to defend the last point for more than 8 minutes after getting rolled, is the Charge and Targe. Yeah, the Charge and Targe was definitely the star of this game. Interesting fact, the Charge and Targe used to have a 65% explosive damage resistance, which is absolutely absurd considering just how well its current 30% does to keep me alive when I'm fighting these soldiers and these demos. In fact, with 4 heads under your belt, and a full overheal, you're able to absorb the equivalent of 500 explosive damage, not to mention the fact that you're constantly getting healed by a medic, and you gain health on every single Islander kill. And if you think having to do 500 explosive damage to Demo Knight isn't hard enough, remember that once he has all those heads with the booties, he's also moving faster than a scout. You ever tried to do upwards of 500 damage to a scout? Yeah, that's pretty tricky. I mean, I could talk about just how great Demo Knight can be in pubs all day, especially with the prevalence of explosive classes. But instead, let's talk about what the enemy team could have done. Now, uh, I think they had at least one heavy running around. Uh, not the most clued in heavy, I don't think. If any one of these demos or soldiers that were getting pocketed by that medic had switched to heavy, it would have been all over for me. But they didn't, and the situation continued to be absolutely perfect for me as Demo Knight. I was able to get in there, kill their medics, tank all their damage, and push them back. And I get managed to hold this point all the way till the end of the game. Uh, spoilers. Despite Heavy being the obvious choice to take me out, he can do upwards of 500 damage per second in close range. The scariest moments for me this game was when I was fighting this Pyro. Now, uh, the Charge and Targe no longer has that Afterburn immunity, and you can put the Afterburn out by charging, but that Air Blast is just terrifying. Although you can absorb so much damage, if you're getting constantly stunned in mid-air, you may as well be completely paralyzed. As a Demo Knight, your only weapon is your sword and your shield bash. Once you're immobilized, you're done. Luckily, Luckily I managed to just escape, and that's only thanks to my scout speed. That and the medic that showed up at the end of the game. Actually, he probably saved the game more than I did, now I'm thinking about it. This guy's idea to use a sticky trap to kill me was pretty good as well. Um, It's pro probably the only way you'd be able to kill me through my explosive resist. Unfortunately, he didn't expect me to be so dumb as to charge right through it, which is unfortunate for him. 
And there we have it. This video is an example of how the right class at the right time can make all the difference. If he has the right amount of support as well. Those sentries sitting behind me were perfect because they couldn't switch off those explosive classes because they had to take down those sentry. And they couldn't get to the sentry because they were being constantly harassed by the demo knight. You know, a little bit of teamwork here and there really does help out. And as the game is ending, I was sweating bullets thinking I was about to die because I was dominating every single member of the other team. Not only that, I was also dominating them when there were nine of them. And I think that's a good enough victory. And look at all those experience points. Oh. Hey guys, just a little bit of fun pub play I had. Thought you'd enjoy it too. Anyway, that's all I got for you right now. Catch you next time.